Put my hair down. <laughs> Girl, let me put your records on. Tell me your favorite song. Go, go up, hit that show. Hair down. I'm Phil. I'm Corey. Uh, kicking it off with some Corinne Bailey Ray. And we're also going to be kicking it off with a little Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie. The Oogie Boogie. It's a boogie. That's a little Oogie. <laughs> Oh, this boss fight's going to be miserable. Because remember how the Oogie Boogie boss fight works? Yeah, you have to hit the yeah. dice back and... Imagine doing that with cards you don't like. Oh. Oh. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. Hey, it's a beautiful day outside. We just got some some Cane's chicken. I drank a Diet Coke. I'm, I'm feeling... I'm feeling good, folks. Uh... No, I don't want to hit that. Oh, goddamn. They, they did the old one, oh, two, one. two. Okay, this, this deck's looking pretty crisp so far. Nines, sevens, zeros? You might actually be able to duel stuff. Oh, that would be something. Yeah, you got three nines right next to each other. You could just slate up three nines. Okay. You know what? I'm calling it. Today's the day. Today's the day? I don't know what it's the day for. <laughs> but folks, when you're watching this, I hope it's your day. I hope you have the most wonderful day and that you get rewarded with all the all the joy and happiness that could ever come to you. I, I wish that every time you watch one of our videos, but especially today. Because, ooh. I'm just an overwhelming force of positivity. Another random Joker? Oh, let's oh go. man! I, I think that's three now. Riku's gonna become the Joker. He's going. He's he's gonna be in a movie that I didn't like. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be positive today. And then I'm like, ooh, I thought about the Joker movie. Whoops. <laughs> oh wait, it's see you down there. Fine. It's hey. You know what? I'm not even going to think about the Joker movie. I'm going to think about how I'm going to have my second shot by the time Fast and the Furious 9 comes out. Oh, the newest trailer is delicious. Obviously setting up for Fast 10 Your Seatbelts. <laughs> um, they, hear, they heard our pitch. Uh, we do know that Vin Diesel is a fan. Um, so Vin, how you doing? First of all. I hope uh, you're having a good. I hope you're having a good one today. You can move with that. I guess so. Have you always been able to move with that? I haven't really. You've tried. always stood still. <laughs> well, good. To An know. attack boost. That's your favorite thing. It is. I I like having more attack. It's just dealing more damage. Riku make the bad men dead quicker. He do. He he sure do. The bad reflections of Sora's memory. I'm not sure why he's fighting Heartless. Uh, they make it pretty clear why Sora is. You're avoiding that zero in the slate, but I will point out, if you slated that up, you'd still be at 16. So... It just, it feels kind of like a waste. I guess it, it isn't against these guys for sure, but... Yeah, you know what? It's preparing you for Oog. Because Oogie Boogie, uh, he's gonna... Uh... He might ruin our good day. I don't think he will. I don't think anything could ruin these vibes. What the <laughs> heck? Oh man. That's uh that's from Persona 5. <laughs> which is uh, a joker that makes me less angry. <laughs> nice. Still not my cup of tea. I have not gone back to it since I did the Joker build uh until Lock the Barbarian. Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, you're probably <laughs> But, hey, I, I'm not yucking anybody's yums. You got three Mickeys ready to go. Yeah. Oh, my oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The power of friendship, light, and darkness all together. You have every anime power possible. <laughs> Game got a little confused. That's how powerful you were. It didn't know how to advance. This was on the Game Boy Advance. Uh huh. That's right. 
Let's go. Let's. But you got room too. Probably some feeble darkness, if I were to guess. No, I want to hit the. No. <laughs> Just. Uh. It's all good. You. They. They ain't got nothing on you. At least for now. Oh, wait, we're gonna do that so I can get the heal off. There we go. Professional. Yeah, I'm learning. You're learning! And if you're learning, you're earning. Uh, this is now a this is now a hustle YouTube channel. Uh, <laughs> no days off. Always be on that grind. Don't always be on that grind. Folks, if you're watching this video today, I hope you take some time off of the grind. I hope if, if if you're like, hey, I need to like watch this video in the background while I do homework or like I get some work done because maybe you like have a job where you can watch ready. You know what I want you to do? I want you to ignore that work. I want you to sit down with us. Turn it off. We're going to have a good time here. This is a pause from the grind. No grinding allowed. Unless, like, you really need to get it done. And then, then, I mean, like, don't, like, flunk out of class because some YouTuber told you to watch their video extra hard. But. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't let it ruin yourself. But if you can afford it. I always encourage people to watch my videos while they poop at work. I think it's the best thing they can do. Just because, you know what? You've earned it. It'll actually make you work better. Uh, they have done studies that a bunch of small breaks throughout the day is better than, like, a bunch of long breaks or not taking breaks. So, your boss is actually going to thank you for skipping. They won't know. They won't know that the reason that you're better at working is because you took an hour-long poop and watched Just Play Kingdom Hearts. But... They also won't care why you're better. Than they them. also won't care if they're a good boss. Hey, I don't. I've had some bosses that uh, they don't actually really care about the output. They just care that it looks like you're working because they have bosses that care that it looks like their employees are working all the time, even when there isn't work to do. And it's like, hey, I'm sorry, the store's empty. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Sweep? There are flat out been mornings where we just uh, don't have any balloon orders to get ready before the beginning of the day. And so I'm just like, well, you just kind of chill up here. Do what you want. And they'll, they'll pull out their phones and watch anime. And I'm like, good, good, <laughs> good. Watch him, watch him. Full out Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. That's a good decision. <laughs> That's a good one. One of the best. Watching, watching a little, uh, what's other anime people like? Jo watching some JoJo's? Are we having a bizarre adventure at work? The the, un the adventure just keeps getting more and more unusual the farther I go into JoJo's. <laughs> Honestly, the first season didn't really live up to the bizarre adventure. I was like, he's fighting vampires. That's that's a pretty standard adventure. <laughs> Been there, done that. A little boilerplate, yeah. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. Because by the time they get to Italy... We're no longer we're no longer here for a standard adventure. All right, check your map because you got eight different paths. Yeah, we're gonna go to the right. I think that's the right door. No, that's the right. That's door. the right door. That's the one right there. You know what? Oh, they're gonna be on your butt. I'm ready for it. They're gonna be on your butt. They're gonna be like comfortable underwear. <laughs> Oh, I. Th uh, oh, Whoa. That, that, okay, I, I'm. Is that wait? Can that? you make those fall on the enemies? Oh, I didn't train it right. Okay, you got it. You got this. Is there? You one got one? what? You got. Oh, uh, well, I guess there's not anymore. I don't know. Maybe those will fall. No, those. They won't give me time to hit them. Okay, fine. It's fine. It's fine. I wish you could fight them all at the same time because you got this. Because today is the day. Today is the day, and. I still haven't figured out what that means, but boy, I hope I don't get in the car accident on the way home. That'd be bleak. No, if I, no. If I was like, today's the day, and it's like, yeah, today is the day. 
No, it's not that kind of day, Phil. It's not that kind of day. It's a wonderful kind of day where we can learn to laugh <laughs> and play and get along with each other. Hell yeah. And and beat Kingdom Hearts. Can you all tell that I'm not playing Bloodborne and I'm not stressed right now? Because every time I'm playing Bloodborne, I'm having fun, but I'm having fun uh, with what I call the lemon butt. Uh, because I am just fully puckered at any given moment of Bloodborne. Uh, this... I just get to sit down and watch you sweep through a room. Oh, and sweep I shall, at least until Boogie. I don't know how things are gonna go there. This is this is obviously they made a mistake. They thought this was Halloween Town. Wait, this is Halloween. This this, this is Halloween. This is Halloween. Okay, but it looks like it looks to me like it's a Mary Poppins level because you're sweeping. <laughs> You're just, you're, you're Dick Van Dyke up in here. I probably shouldn't have said that. That's going to get us demonetized. It's a name. I mean, One it... of my favorite YouTube stories is just, I did a video about uh, Batman's first Robin, whose name is Richard Grayson. Uh, but, you know, he doesn't go by Richard. He, he goes by a shortening of... Richard, and so I said that a lot in the video, and then it got demonetized. And I was like, hey, I didn't say anything bad, that's his name, and YouTube was like, okay, we'll say that it's fully monetized. It wasn't. <laughs> they lied to me. But that's okay. You know what? Because that wasn't the day. But this? right, This right here? This is the day. This is the day. Give me the heels, Mickey. Ooh. Ooh. He's healing. He's being a mouse. He's very good at being a mouse. He is. What? Honestly, a controversial take here. I think Mickey, one of the top ten fictional mice. Yeah, he's, he's very iconic for the animal. That's for sure. Okay, wait. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do top ten fictional mice. Okay, Mickey Mouse. Uh, Jerry from Tom and Jerry. Ooh, good one. Very good mouse. Uh, the Great Mouse Detective. Arguably, not even a good mouse. <laughs> Maybe a great mouse. Uh, I will say I like the uh, the the chubbier mouse in Cinderella. That's a fun one. Oh yep. Yeah. Oh, what's his name? I've got to be able to name him, so he might not be on there. Um, oh, Jacques is Jacques is uh, make a dress in Cinderella. That's Jacques. So okay, that's three. I don't remember the chubby one. You know, I kind of don't want to double dip franchises either. Okay. Right. I'm okay double dipping Kingdom Hearts because Jacques does show up in the later Kingdom Hearts game. Spoilers. Oh. There is competition for best mouse in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> it's not a close competition. But there are multiple mice. And they're different sizes because this game doesn't make sense. Okay, so Jacques, Mickey, Jerry, uh, Great Mouse Detective, Basil of Baker Street. Because um, I need the names. Okay. This is specifically mice, not rodents. So I can't do Rocket Raccoon. Okay. And I can't do Bugs Bunny. Oh, Speedy Gonzales. Oh, yeah. He's a pretty, mouse. pretty damn cool mouse. He's very fast. He's uh, one of the fast, probably the fastest mouse. Pikachu! 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 <laughs> is that, is, does that beat Mickey? <laughs> Pikachu beats Mickey. I'm sorry, Mickey Mouse, but... Okay, like Pikachu, I think is like an overrated Pokemon. You know, I'm I'm one I'm one of those who's like, okay, Pikachu just lives up to the hype. He lives up to a bit of the hype, though. Like, do I think he is the best thing that that billion dollar franchise has made? No, but I think he's pretty good. Okay, so we've got Mickey, Jerry, Jocks, Jocks. I'm just fully Americanizing Jock. Um, Basil of Baker Street. Pikachu. That's five. I have five fictional mice. Um, okay. Hang on. I can do this. I can do this. Algernon? <laughs> you lost me there. I have no idea who Oh, flowers for Algernon? Mm. I read it in high school. It's sad. Okay. It's very, very sad. Um, I don't really know why we had to read it. <laughs> It's, so it's like a sci-fi story um, about this drug company that's like testing a way to make humans smarter. And so they bring in this guy 
and they like start giving him the drug and he befriends one of the like lab mice that they were experimenting on first uh algernon who like started doing it before him before they moved to human trials and then they're like, oh my gosh, this works amazing on this mouse. We can move to human trials. And they start using it on him, and he starts getting smarter, and, like, he feels really good about himself for the first time in his life. And then, Algernon starts losing the aptitude he has gained. So the mouse starts not being as smart. Oh. And then he starts getting worse than he was at the beginning. Oh. And so this guy knows what's about to happen to him. That's so stressful. It's so bleak. I have no idea why we had to read it in high school. It, it's a well-written story. It, it's a good story. Uh, but yeah, it is fully bleak. And it's just this guy like slowly losing uh, all of this uh, feeling, not only of just intelligence, but of relevancy in his world. And, uh, ooh, you know, today's the day. Okay, so I'll turn on number six and we're going to go back to talking about fictional mice because it makes me sad to think about it. Okay! Uh, woo! Oh, I don't know any of the Redwall mice by name. Shoot. Uh, isn't the main character's Matthias? Matthias from Redwall! Thank you, Corey. Nope. You can help. You're allowed to help. You're, this is a collaborative effort to name these mice. Okay. Okay. So we're at seven mice. Let's make sure I can do them all. Mickey, Jacques, Basil of Baker Street, Pikachu, Jerry, Algernon, Matthias. Okay. Oh, Pinky. Pinky! I'm gonna go... Yeah, I'm gonna go with Pinky. Pinky over Bright. Yeah. This is a Pinky household. Okay. Eight. Oh. Yeah, cartoons is the way to go. They Cartoons love mice. Probably because yeah. you just draw three circles and you've, you've created a character. Congratulations. <laughs> Day done. Go home early. Oh. 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 Does the band Modest Mouse have an anthropomorphic... I mean, if... Representative... It... Oh! Speedy! Speedy Gonzales! We... Wait. That was one you had said earlier. Okay. Speedy Gonzales, um, and if you're Mickey looking, Mouse. Looking for uh, music artists with the, I mean, you can go Dead Mouse because that. Like, Dead Mouse, he is a not actually a mouse. That's fictional. <laughs> the, the mouse element is at least. I guess I haven't seen him under the helmet. We don't know. <laughs> My money is that he is not a mouse, but that would be the ultimate con. Because <laughs> if if I were a mouse with human intelligence who was able to make dubstep music, I would not want the public to know. <laughs> I would want to keep that to myself. Okay, okay. So we're, we're going to count dead mouse. Okay, so we've got Speedy, Mickey, Jerry, Jacques, Pikachu, Algernon, Matthias, uh, dead mouse. We keep losing one. Every time we go through, we lose one. <laughs> They are mice. They're hard to keep track of. I don't feel Pinky. bad about it. Pinky! We need one more mouse. Who is the final mouse in this equation? Okay. Um. Rupert? Rupert? Is, or no, I'm not. I'm, what is the mouse's name? It's not Rupert. It's in Harry Potter. The one who turns into... Peter Pettigrew! Pe yeah. Peter Pettigrew. He's gonna be the bottom. Yeah, he's like... One, he's a bad guy. Uh, Why do I feel like there's a mouse named Rupert, though? Now? I don't know. But there probably is. I mean, another thing about mice, there are a lot of them. <laughs> so I think I think number one mouse. If I can throw out an honorable mention, the uh, the sneezy mouse that Billy's mom owns in uh, Adventure, Misadventures of Billy and Mandy, or what, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> She's got a pet mouse that's like sneezy and sick all the damn time, and then like an owl, or she thinks an owl comes down to eat it, so she wants the owl dead, but it, she found out that it was actually her husband who ate the sneezy mouse. I gotta rewatch Billy and Mandy. <laughs> That was, that was, like, kind of a trend in animation at the time of, like, kids just getting some extra-dimensional entity that helped them. Just kids forming warlock pacts. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. So now we need to we need to place them in order. I think Pikachu number one mouse. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna say it. I'm down for that. I'm saying it. Uh, Pikachu number one mouse. Jerry number two. Pinky number three. Then Mickey at number four. I think Mickey's all the way down to four. I mean, I'm fine with that just because I'm not a huge Mickey Mickey fan, but I am surprised Mickey F and Mouse only gets four. Look, he, hey. He's in, he's in competition. Because you know what? I'm, Matthias has a big character arc. The, you know, Mickey actually, if we're talking Kingdom Hearts Mickey, yeah, Mickey's number four. Mickey might even move up. I love Mickey Mouse in these games. But I, if they, if Tom and Jerry got in here and they gave Jerry a gun, <laughs> like just a real ass gun, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey might fall down a few slots. Uh, I think Peter Pettigrew is the bottom. Now, so we've we've done the top five. Now we'll work our way up. Uh, Peter Pettigrew is at the bottom because he's kind of not fully a mouse, or he's a rat. Oh, a rat. <sighs> you know, I don't know. Rats are not mice. Yeah, rats are not mice. Peter Pettigrew, uh, you've you've lost your slot. Now we need to think of another mouse. Wait, are all the rest of ours mouse? Mice. Speeding Gonzalez is a mouse. Is a mouse. Yeah, use these. These are annoying because they're random. Is that all I have for blues? Oh my god. Oh. Well. well yeah, it's just a save point. These levels are short. It's all heck. Um... Yeah, we need, we need more mice. Algernon's sort of just a mouse. I think he he's a good number six, because, like, he's just... He's a mouse. Okay. The, oh, I have, to, I have to get them all within a certain amount of time. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Okay, so I won't slate. I'll just... Oh, but that will Oh, wait, the thing's broken. What? So I don't have to hit all the mice. <laughs> or uh, dice. God dang it. The mice and dice. Dice and the mice and them. Hit with that dark Faraga. Did you even get that off? No. I Oogie didn't. boogie. You gosh darn cheer. Yeah, that is his character, so... I'm trying to think. Oh! The three blind mice in track. Oh, yeah. I don't think they have names. Do they? I'm going to feel... Someone's going to be like, oh my god, Phil's a sh fake Shrek fan. He can't even name the three blind mice. I can't tell. Does he not... Is there even no health bar? No, he has a health bar. It shows up sometimes. No. Uh, <sighs> I also have no idea what actually causes those things to go down. I think it's when you break the the dice. Ah. Ah, there it there is. There we go. Oof. That's oh, that's some damage. He's oh, gonna Oh, I'm running out of cards. You I got it. Slaving. You got it. Okay. I gotta yeah. just not You got slave. high cards. He does throw eights out, so watch those sevens. Oh, I have to break several cards and the gate's, like, lower. Oh, really? Oh, so, like, it right, lowered you're twice. Right. And now it's down. Oh, you're so close. You're so close! Give me one more. No! Oogie, you Son of a son of a sailor. Okay, three blind mice pretty low. They don't really do a lot. They're in the far, far away idol thing, and they sing I can see clearly. Yeah. This is pretty funny. Yeah. They can't. <laughs> They're the three blind mice. What? Are you just... Okay. There we go. <laughs> wow. Steady healing. Access to steady healing. Yes. Oogie Boogie is socialized medicine, and we're here for it. <laughs> Let's go.
He has three blind mice that are low. Uh, Speedy Gonzalez is a controversial one. Uh, I don't feel comfortable ranking Speedy Gonzalez and how he represents the Hispanic community. I'm a white person. Uh, I have heard tell that he's popular in the Hispanic community. I've also heard that he's a bit of an issue in the Hispanic community. So you know what? We're putting him low. But if you want to put him higher, that's okay. I'm not going to tell you how to rank your mice. That This isn't that DreamWorks movie. <laughs> how to Train Your Dragon is much more popular because it's a much more interesting thing. How to rank your mice is just a kid with like 10 mice and he's like, uh, I think you're the best. Uh, so am I just leaving or am I going? Yeah, to... you're leaving. So you want to go up to that top left one, I think. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going up there. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, uh, remember, this one, for some reason, they were like, yeah, we don't kick you out of the level this time. Don't totally know why. Almighty Darkness. You just want to run fast. I mean, you, you swamped this level. I mean, they gave me good cards. Yeah. I really didn't have to think. <gasps> What a thrill. Oh, there it is. Oh, come on. You can do it. Yeah, you got tangled in that spider web. That actually makes more sense for the spider web than to be a trampoline. What if that's how spiders actually caught their prey? Like, the fly gets on the spider web and is like, This is fun! <laughs> And then the spider's like, heh heh heh, it's gonna try and do a flip, and then and then I'm gonna get it, because it's gonna be like, oof, I hit my back real hard. Oh, this is a dead end. God dang it. Boo! I'm just trying to think today might not be the day. Oh, today's the day. Today's the day! No doubt about it. Hey, speaking of no doubt, you were, you were tangled in the spider webs. Ha! <laughs> Leave a little, message little, and I'll call you back. Little Gwen Stefani humor. Gwen Stefani's been through it. She was in a ska band. Now she's on The Voice. The Voice does not seem like a ska-friendly competition show. <laughs> I, I don't think I've heard a lot of people do ska. You know what? I haven't watched since season two. So, uh, that's on me. How many seasons are there? There's a lot. This I plan on just running through, so we'll do it. Yeah. Oh, just hoof it. And top then... 10 anime mules. <laughs> yeah, top 10 anime mules. Jesus. Uh, Are I don't... there any mules in anime? Yeah, I... How many mule characters can we name? The closest thing I've got is the, the camel in the Alabasta arc of One Piece. And that's not a mule, though. That's a camel. That is a camel. That is not a mule. I haven't seen One Piece yet. I plan on watching it before the end of the year, but... Uh, camels are not mules. I can't wait until you start watching it. There's some sad stuff. I'll be like, it's so sad, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know why I'm weirdly excited to, like... But this is really sad. No, hey, I'm making you play Kingdom Hearts. I understand that emotion fully. Because, <laughs> yeah, like, if you were watching the end of uh, Chain of Memories and you were like, dang, Naminé has to, like, go back to her relevancy and not be friends with anyone anymore because everyone's going to forget her. That's pretty sad. Well, guess what? The sadness is just getting started. <laughs> Because, yeah, I think we talked about this when we were walking to Kane's the last time, but this is fully gateway anime. <laughs> yeah. uh, Kingdom Hearts is fully gateway anime. And I didn't... Another random Joker! Today? That's why today's the day, That's Phil. why is, today is the day! I never saw it coming! <laughs> da, 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 the last what? surprise... Ha, ha, that's a tool to murder people. <laughs> it is kind of funny when you see something that's like used for state executions as a decoration in a kid's game. Yeah, you know, just details. Yeah, that's there to scare the French. God. They see that and they're like, whew. French Revolution is wild. 
or potentially there to scare Jeff Bezos. Ooh! I'm not touching that one. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, but the French Revolution was wild. It's also wild that, like, Les Mis does not focus at all on the French Revolution when it's set during the French Revolution. It's like, no, but what if a guy fell in love with a girl, though? And I'm like, yeah, you are missing some major story <laughs> elements you could be touching on. <gasps> She's back! It's not very often we see you topside. I came to lend you a hand. You obviously believe this Sora has much potential, but I remain unconvinced he is truly worth such coddling. I think an experiment would show if he really is of any value to us. Hmm. Well, here we go again. It's just an excuse, so you can carry out your little experiments, that's all. I'm a scientist. Experiments are what I do. Yes. Whatever. You can do what you want. But you know, I think testing Sora is just a cover for testing your valet. Valet? He's the product of pure research. What he actually is, is a toy. Hmm. You should just learn to be quiet. Anyway, since you came all this way, you're gonna need this. A humble gift to my elder. I hope you use it to put on a very good show for us. That card holds the memories of Sora and Riku's home. It's just a card. What good is that? With a little help from Namine, you'll have all the real Riku's memories. Maybe we can get her to make you forget you're nothing but a fake. In other words, we'll remake your heart so you can be exactly the same as the real Riku, okay? Oh. You want to remake my heart? The real Riku is a wimp who's afraid of the dark. What do I want with the heart of a loser? Any objections, Vexen? After all, you do want to test Sora, don't you? It must be done. How can you? Are you betraying me? I told you I would make good use of you, didn't I? No. Relax, kiddo. I don't think it's gonna hurt that much. I'll hurt you! Yeah. Ah! Stupid little toy. Think you could defeat me? My life! Did you ever get a thought like <laughs> Is a that? monster? <laughs> but look on the bright side. Along with everything else in your head, Namine will erase the memory of me knocking you flat. Instead, she will implant the loveliest little memories you could ever hope for. It's no big deal that they're all lies. No. No! Look, okay, she's going through a lot, okay? You don't understand. She has a sad backstory. She painted us. Oh, God. No, she's a bad person, and I know it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, so they're just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> they made themselves a fake kid. He's been alive for two hours, and now they're going to brainwash him. As you do. Look! No one said they were good guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, It doesn't really matter. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Let's go to a bunch of worlds that you kind of didn't go to. Because, <laughs> like, the other one's, like... uh. It's implied that Riku's the one who snatched up Jasmine in Agrabah. So, like, he kind of went there, like, off screen. Oh, he didn't go to Olympus Coliseum. They're just like, yeah, we got a level. Put it in the game. What's this deck looking like? Okay. Eight, sevens, sixes? Okay. I don't want to... I don't want to get ahead of myself, but what if they, like, just kind of keep giving you better decks? I'm not opposed to this. I'm not opposed to it one bit. Yeah. 
Fuck him. Everything's just kind of dancing around. Is it gonna attack me? You had to ask. They had to perish <laughs> in the d d d d d darkness. Wouldn't it did, be in? Did did those just shift the pillars? Did like when I first? Maybe. Oh, I mm, I swear I saw those pillars shift, and I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Remember, if you go if you go dark boy, you can just break through his little belly. Bellies are no match for the power of darkness. <laughs> Hop on the monkeys. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> the live action teaser trailer. <laughs> Give it a second. There, there will be one. Oh, I can't do this. Oh no! Small amounts of damage. <laughs> Whatever shall I do? Your only weakness. I think it'd be funny if it. Right when I spawned in, did you see those columns? Oh my. Okay. As soon as we spawn back into this room, I'm gonna watch them. Oh. My. My eyes are peeled, which is a horrifying expression. <laughs> well, I guess no. The peels of your eyes are your eyelids. <laughs> Okay, I'm watching. Yeah, they kind of like phase in. Uh, I think it's just a little graphical bug. But it's eerie. It makes me think the columns are alive. The columns are watching. Sort of like how the uh, manual of the original Super Mario Brothers implies that all of the blocks you're smashing are the former uh, citizens of Mushroom Kingdom. Oh my god, really? Yeah. That's, that is dark. Dark stuff. But that's just a theory. A Mario theory. Oh, yeah, no, I, I mean, yeah, the darkness works too, because I can get through him. I just kind of just wanted to attack him, though. Yeah, he kind of seems like if he laid on his back, you could get some, like, trampoline hops off the tummy. Sure. Yeah, I think use your red cards. You have a lot of red cards. We kind of ran a little low on the blues. You know what? Things are going well for me. Check your map. Can see which way you want to go. Doesn't really look like it matters. You go up and then right, or right and then up. You said you weren't going to do it. I know, but then I got to thinking about how I won't get, like, a health boost for a level up or no attack boost. I'm like, ah, I kind of should go for the level up, at least a little. Just for posterity. Yeah. Give me the heal. Oh, that's and give them the stun so they can't go on the floor. <laughs> what? Some people play one-dimensional chess. Some people play two-dimensional chess. I feel like you're on, like, 12-dimensional chess. Ooh. That's, that's a lot of dimensions. You're on Lego Dimensions chest. Chess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, today might be the day, but I'm getting... I'm getting silly, folks. Or is it good, too? I guess I can use that one again. Just gotta get ready to go fast. Hey, speaking of going fast, Knuckles has been confirmed for the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> There's a picture from the set of, uh... Zoom! Someone's very confident in who they are outside, so they have a very loud car to let people know how confident they are. Uh... But yeah, they have like little stand-ins for Sonic, Tails, and uh, Knuckles, and there's a set photo of them just standing. <laughs> Can you get me up here? No, you can You just kind of stop. That's it. Oh, I didn't get the hit on, though. He couldn't even hit you, and you still screwed him. Yeah, it's... You should be ashamed. <laughs> Bit of, uh, if, I, if I've got the right word, crescendo on that insult. Yeah. Yeah, crescendo would be... Uh, yeah, crescendo would be getting louder. I got louder. What's the other one? Day crescendo. Day crescendo. Okay. 
That's easy enough to remember. I'm just gonna that's, put that uh, that's when you do it before 5 p.m. <laughs> but Sorry, between noon and 5 p.m. Otherwise, it's Mornay Crescendo. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Jerks. There's like twice as many rooms in this version of Olympus Coliseum as there are in the real Olympus Coliseum. <laughs> Sorry, the, the real Kingdom Hearts will let this Coliseum. There isn't a non-fiction. Oh, that was all zeros. I don't know how that did anything for me. Oh, you missed. Nailed them. Nailed them! Getting some zeros. Check your map. Because I definitely don't think you want to go that way. No. Oh, yeah, you're right. You want to go to the right... That's up, I think. Yeah, that's oh. up. So you want to go down there. There we go. Hey, I've got just a normal four for that. Sweet. Yeah, this is like the most standard room. Oh, and there's your door. <gasps> door. It's the way out. Oh, uh -huh. just pretty simple. Just any red, any green. Okay. You got a couple of ones you could drop. A two? Yeah. Black rooms are stressful. Um let's drop one of the ones. Yeah. You have so many random jokers just ready to go. Final world, you can just be like Joker. 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 Midnight Toker. Bring it on, Hades. More like, Hades nuts! Ha! <laughs> Got him. Hey, we we should play Hades. I'm down. It's so good. It's such a good game. And it takes a lot of inspiration from Chain of Memories. Does it now? Not, not officially, but I think a lot of roguelikes have elements of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. It's like a proto-roguelike. Oh, you got a powerful Mickey Mouse. Just hit one of the zeros. Oh. We'll go three Mickeys. Oh, three Mickeys did not do well. Hey, pop Oogie Boogie. Oh, that's right. I've got Oogie Boogie. I didn't pop Oogie. That means he can't break your cards, though, so just swing at him. Uh. 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 Uh, 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 Oh my god. Nice! Oh, he's toast! Today's the day! <laughs> Today's the day! Today, instead of fire creating toast, you turned fire into toast! Well, what can I say? I know a lot about bread. Do you? No. I've never been good at making bread. I've never tried making bread, actually. Oh, I am terrible at making bread. It you is tried? Fun. I have tried. It's... It, Baking in general ain't my thing. I'm more into uh, cooking because you can like mess up what you're cooking and fix it. Baking, you just gotta put it in and hope it works. <laughs> uh, pop ugly boogly. Ooh, good call. Let me just wait. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was go I was gonna let you win. And check your map on how you want to get out of here. Yeah, so you can go up and over or over and up. Jeez, I hope. Well, you. Mm, I'll go. Mm. We'll. Well, hey, who knows what the bull crap path's gonna be? Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll go back the way I came, just in case going up into that room is like a dead end. They're like, huh? Oh, oh. You got bamboozled. I got a four for that. Perfect. A 4-4 four, four, that. <laughs> yeah, you just want to go out the top. And it's already open for you. Because they still open the door. They just... Don't take you to it. Yeah. It's weird. It's This is a weird mode. Oh, I guess I don't need to worry about health when my save is right up there. That's true. But I like that you care. 
save. We'll just do one of them, because I have a feeling there's going to be a cutscene and then an opportunity to save. That sounds pretty accurate. <laughs> Maybe a boss fight, but no, you just saved, so you're fine. I think they save the boss fights for when you, like, clear out the world cards you have, though. Oh, that would make sense. Because the, the Riku mode's pretty... pretty short. Why so glum, Namine? Is there something that's been troubling you? Are you feeling awful about tinkering with Sora's memory? Or maybe you... Cut it out, Larxene. Namine? She doesn't want to remember Sora. Is that so? Don't worry. Whatever's hurting you, I'll make it go away. I swear it on this. The good luck charm you gave me. See ya. That's just amazing. It's almost like you completely made his heart from scratch. Nice touch with the good luck charm. I didn't know you could use memories to transform objects like cards into keepsakes. You used the same trick on Sora, right? You changed Kairi's good luck charm with your magic, didn't you? <laughs> It won't be long before Sora forgets about Kairi completely, and then he'll be all yours to- He won't forget. Huh? No matter how much I change his memory, Sora will never forget Kairi. Memories of me, more false memories of me, will just make his feelings for Kairi even stronger than before. Because I'm the shadow of Kairi. What's your problem with that? That should be your incentive not to screw anything up. Just do a good job rewriting Sora's heart. Then you can actually be somebody, and no longer just Kairi's shadow. You'll be real in Sora's heart. Just being a bully. Okay, but well, you don't you don't even understand her like I do. <laughs> I'm sure I don't. Like you haven't even done the Lark scene playthrough, okay? <laughs> I wish there was a Lark scene playthrough. I mean, rolling around the lightning powers would be pretty damn cool. It'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool. Better, maybe we can just get a, a Lark scene skin for Infamous. Oh yeah. I've never played the Infamouses. Oh, highly recommend. Hey, do you want to go to a world that Riku kind of went to once off screen, or do you want to go to a world Riku never went to? Do you want to fight Ursula, or do you want to fight the Trickster? They're both annoying. Yeah, they are. Uh, we'll go with Trickster. Let's do it. Let's do it. Don't think we'll actually get to him in this uh, episode. Looking like we're going to be running a little bit close. But yeah, it's sort of, again, it's it's implied that Riku was the one who, like, snatched up Alice from Wonderland. But that's about it. <laughs> also, there's, fun fact, there's two versions of the cutscene where, like, Alice shows up in, like, the darkness room because... That's supposed to, that cutscene plays after you beat uh, the first world. So if you beat uh, Olympus Coliseum first uh, and you haven't gone to Wonderland, obviously they can't show uh, Alice showing up in the Dark World because she hasn't yet. So they have Snow White in it instead. Fun fact, Kingdom Hearts 1. This deck sucks. Yeah, it does. This is a bad deck. Oh, uh, use Jimmy Jafar, and then they can't break your stuff. Good call. If I use Oogie right away, will that stop yeah, Jafar? Yeah, that'll stop Jafar. Oh. So. What? Maybe it stops them from breaking your cards once you've played them? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna be miserable. 
Honestly, maybe just run out and like try and do this without running into anything. And just hope that you're high enough level to get through it. I feel like I should have spent more time getting levels in the... <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. Yeah, just we're just gonna try and blow through this level. Let's go right to the boss. Let's go fast, you gotta break that break that flower, the purple flower. Ah. Oh, I have to, uh, uh, have to smash it with your keyblade. Not a keyblade. Sword. Dark sword. <laughs> Dark key sword blade. Uh, check your sleepies. Ah, uh, you can get through the teaming one. Do it. I believe in you. Nothing's gonna get you down. I sure hope so. Check your map. Oh, when I'm safe. Or wait, it'll just pause on it. Yeah. This ain't Bloodborne. Either or. Either room works. I oh, gotta break the purple flowers. Oh. Oh, there's one. Oh, and it's got... <gasps> They're blocking you. Okay. <laughs> this war this deck sucks. I was like, hey, maybe you'll get good decks now. Uh obviously they know that the day is almost over. It's fine. It's fine. We can make it. We can do this. You got it. Oh wow. I'm so impressed. <laughs> I try. Black room should be pretty easy to avoid the enemy then. Okay. They're slow. And they're few and far between. Okay. Wow. You, oh, man. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I've been training for that room. That yeah. room specifically. No, I, I, I remember you were you were streaming, like, working on your splits for that room. Mm. Okay, there's Purple Flower. We're getting that in sight right off the bat. Boom. Oh, it didn't even have time. It didn't even have time. <gasps> now you're going to want to go to the left. Exit. Oh, it's way down. Nope, other way. That's huh? that's the down exit. Oh. You wanna go oh, through that. that door. Oh crap. Of course it Oh I can. Oh. You got it, you got it. Sh movement, sh movement. This is just like Bloodborne. <laughs> Uh, yeah, why not? You're just going for the teamings. You just want to flex. You just want to prove that you're so cool. That you can do whatever you... This is literally the same room. Yeah. Oh. Controls are going to be reversed. Oh, it, it wore off. It wore off. Yeah. Okay. Oh, folks. He doesn't even... He doesn't even... Nope. Wrong door. Dang it. Dang it! Try, try and... Oh, he fell. Good. Good. Fall down. I don't think he's supposed to fall like that. It looked weird. <laughs> <sighs> We're getting there. Hey, we We're might... We're getting have... there. We're getting there. We're gonna do it. Is this world gonna get done in ten minutes? Oh my goodness. The boss will break those flowers. Boom. R.I.P. Flowers. Send flowers oh. for the flowers. <laughs> to the right. No, to the right. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Don't take those sounds out of context. 30. You just want... 30 reds. 30 red, huh? You drop the reds you don't like. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's get rid of... Wait, see if you can random jumper that. Sh should I, though? How many random jumpers do you got? You got six. Drop a <laughs> random jumper. Okay. <laughs> Never see it coming. Boss time. Boss time. God, you're putting my Bloodborne to shame. You're doing like 80 bosses per round. Oh my god, that was a mistake. Smash. What? Riku, hit him. Okay, thank you, Riku. I probably got a reload, yep. 
Mickey, where are you? I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh. I want to get on that table. Dude, don't have eights. We don't have like ones. <laughs> Smash. Oh no. Okay. Uh, Oogie, okay, yeah. They really want me to. Oh, yeah, I can't break that. I'm just gonna. You can slate to break it. You, don't, you also don't have, like, any cards. Come on, play something lower than a four. Do it. Nope. <laughs> Not that. Oh my god. Dude! Come on, come on. Oh, no. Not that. Oh, hey, I shouldn't have jumped at him with that. <gasps> I was ready. No. Uh, he also doesn't have a deck. Oh, but like, oh, can I build pop, darkness? Pop Jafar, and then, uh, yeah, you can build darkness. Pop Jafar, and then just hit him before he plays cards. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, folks. This is gonna be a rough one. We'll see you next time. I'm Phil. I'm Corey. Oh, I'm gonna like look at your deck and see what the hell you have. I, there's definitely nothing higher than a five. How are you supposed to do this? Wait, how many cards do you have? Nine. What the shit?